10 o'clock, everybody started coming out their room to start, you seeing everybody coming out the rooms and walking up and down the streets and it's just real active. And um, the people there told me, you know, if I don't come early in the morning, then the best time to come is after 10 because that's when they put all the girls out and at midnight is really when it's popping, popping. So I'm really thinking about maybe nine o'clock, everybody meet up somewhere over there. And then we just kind of either walk through or just still kind of scope the place out, start questioning, start knocking on doors, like whatever it is that we got to do. But I need y'all to know, I mean, I'm sure all y'all know we from Dallas. That's not the best motherfucking part of town. So if you're going to come with me, you got your little buddy with you. <laughs> because they going to have theirs. And they show them loud and proud. Um, I got a lot of new leads today. A lot of new answers. And... Um, the girl's grandma told me that she, Melody is a, is a train driver and she confirmed that she's seen that girl out there at the West End after midnight. Um, a couple other people that I'm showing her pictures to say, hey, yeah, she be at the West End at nighttime. You know, I had somebody actually send me a text message and tell me that they seen the girl at the West End, um, like at that motherfucking moment. So between the West End and Duncanville is where we're going to either find her or my baby. Um, so really, really tomorrow I want you guys, if possible, to meet up um, over in the area around 9 so we can start this little search party. Um, I got tons of flyers that I've been posting, everybody else has been posting, so whatever flyers y'all feel like y'all want to print out and bring, go ahead and bring them out. Um, I really don't want the Dallas police number on the flyer because with my child, knowing that she has an active warrant for her arrest, I don't want her to feel like no matter what situation she's in, she's scared to call one of us or call me or to reach out for help because she fears she's gonna go back to jail. Because my baby, I'm not sending her back to jail. The system has already done failed her. All I wanna do is get her and we can figure out the rest from there. So if you print out flyers, by all means do that. But I just, I really prefer not to have the ones with the Dallas police number on it. Cause I don't wanna scare my child into asking for help when she needs it. Um, but I really think this is gonna be a success because of all the information we got, knowing that she's actually in the area having confirmation from several people today, letting me know that my child was out there. Um, I actually got a lead from a woman who um, I was showing her my baby's picture and she, I was showing her family my baby's picture and she came up to me personally to tell me that she saw my baby um, at nine o'clock this morning standing outside of the Ari. She wasn't in front of a door and she wasn't with anybody. She was standing at the, at the entrance of the Ari motel right when you pull in and she said that she seen her standing there and she looked really confused and dazed but also scared at the same time and she said that she pulled through the motel and she wanted to circle back around to go check on her because something didn't feel right and she said by the time she made it back to the front of the entrance the daughter was gone she said as fast as she was gone that had those minutes somebody picked her up and um she told me she's gonna keep looking out for her from the information I got is that the guys basically put the girls out after midnight, between midnight and 3 or 4 a.m. And then they have to go into a, a hotel room so that they're not, you know, showing any attention. And then around 8 or 9 in the morning, they make them come out and stand on the corner and they pick them all up to take them back to wherever they're keeping them at. Um, so, To know that my baby is actually there and she's been spotted by several people it's, it's a good sign for me at least i know that she we're looking in the right area but it's also scary to know that she stays and confused at nine o'clock in the morning because if anybody knows my child and her seizures she mainly has them early in the morning and after she has them she's really confused and lost and she doesn't know anything it's like her mind is really blank so to hear them say that i know that they actually saw my baby and it's scary, but it's a good thing at the same time because like I said, we know that we're looking in the right direction. So, um, I just want to keep going with it and keep trying to find her. Hopefully, if I don't find her by tomorrow, Friday, all of us coming together with all the support that you guys are wanting to be here for the for the search for her. I feel like we're gonna, we, we gonna find her like this. She gonna be home soon. And, it's people that I really, I'm not going to say any names right now, but it's people that I really least expected them to help out during the search that actually showed up today and have been actually coming on a daily basis. And I'm just finding this out. It's like, it's a great feeling. It's, it's support for my child, not even just for me, but for my child, like to know that she's got so many supporters and people actually 
caring and looking for her is just it's amazing and i really love y'all all for that like i owe y'all the world especially after today like i have a really good feeling now it's like my heart is still heavy because i miss her and i know she's in a bad situation but it makes me happy at the same time because i know we're gonna find her so I just want to get out here and tell y'all that it's late, so I'm about to call it a night and go to bed. But um, we are going to do the, the, the I keep saying watch party, search party for her Friday. Friday at 9 p.m. if y'all are available. I would like everybody to meet me in the area in Duncanville, up at Cockrell Hill, in um, Kent Wisdom. If y'all are familiar with the area, if not, I will post the address to the hotel that we're going to meet up at tomorrow um, for y'all to be ready for it Friday. If you can't make it, that's fine. If you can, I, mean, I know that's late, and I know people probably got stuff to do with their family and stuff on, on the weekends, but if you can make it, you can make it. I hope I can see y'all. If you need any more details, inbox me or join the Facebook group, Finding Tatiana, um, and y'all can get all the details there as well. But I'm about to call it a night. We get in the house, so thank y'all for all the support and the love and everything y'all are doing to help me so much out.